In this short video, I'm going to be covering the freeze panes tool in Google Sheets. This is one of the most useful tools that you need to know if you're a beginner at Google Sheets or any kind of spreadsheets, whether you're using Excel or whatever else. Freeze panes is something I use every single day. Freeze panes is a tool that allows you to lock your columns or header rows so that when you scroll around, um, whichever column or row you have locked stays in place. So what I mean by that is I have this report here. You can see when I scroll to the right or I scroll down, everything moves with it. What I want to do is come up here to view and freeze panes so I can freeze the first row. I can also freeze the first column. And now when I scroll, these are locked in place so that I can see if I'm trying to look for these values here, I can see that the headers um, have stayed in place. So now I know what I'm looking at. Same when I'm scrolling right. Um, if I'm looking at these specific lines, I know what code is associated with what numbers. Um, this is a very useful tool. Again, I use every day. And I see beginners all the time when they're working in uh, um, Google Sheets or Excel. They're scrolling over here. They don't really know what they're working on and they always have to like scroll back to look. Um, you don't need to do that. You can use freeze panes to do that. So how you use this tool, uh, let me just clear the, this, um, this really quickly. Um, so how to use this tool um, in Google Sheets, there's a few different ways to do it. So it's up here in the view uh, menu, freeze. So there's a few options here. Um, one row, two rows, or up to current row. One column, two column, up to current column. So if I'm ever, anywhere in this document and I hit um, freeze one row, it's just gonna freeze the top row. If I hit two rows, it's gonna freeze the top two rows. Um, same thing with columns. Let me just clear that out. Uh, columns, one column, or two columns and then um, there's this clear option if you want to clear it now the other way you can set it up is up to current so this um, depends on where you're clicked in the cell whatever cell you are clicked on so here I'm in C5 if I go up to current row 5 it's gonna freeze 5 and everything above 5 if I go up to current column it's going to freeze everything at C and to the left of C. So again very useful tool it's pretty simple to use. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions.